Hello guys, welcome to another part of our course. This is part five, right? And uh, in this part, we're going to work on the profile uh, session of our course, right? So we're going to be working on the profile of uh, the profile page for our application, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now, uh, how do we start? just the same way we've been starting so first of all we're going to have to start with this image all right it's um it's an ellipse it's not really like a cycle right yeah it's an ellipse we have it like uh it has like two four two by two two six uh this like but i will i would prefer we just see this as a, a cycle image okay so let's go ahead and come to um let me see Yes, let's go to here and add a new page. So we're adding a new page, uh, blank, and we call it profile, okay? Profile, let's just make it even more descriptive. User profile, so, all right. So here, we're going to go ahead and click on the main column and add uh, a row. In the row, we're going to add a cycle image, cycle image. So it's a cycle image, and um, let's use 242 as the diameter, all right? So let's say 242, okay? Then click on this and say center line, beautiful. Then click on the cycle image and wrap it with a stack, okay? The reason is because we're going to have to put this particular container in it. So this is a circle, by which is dimension 46 by 46. So we're going to now add a cycle. Uh, container and then say cycle and diameter is 46 and inside that container we're going to add a column inside the column we're going to add an icon and so we're adding an icon here the icon is um, it's going to be an edit icon so we click on here and say icon oh, sorry not that we say edit so edit is going to be any of this. So I think we're going to use this. It's similar to what we saw before. Then the dimension is going to be uh, dimension of the icon. It's like, uh, I don't know, let's say um, 35, no, 32, okay? Let's click on the column and center align it. Perfect. Now let's click on the container itself and uh, let's look at the diamond the part the distance from the left so here it says 191 and from the top it says 16. so here we'll say 16 for the top and then for the left we'll say 191 like that okay so now we have this and we're perfectly okay with it okay so uh let's see do we have do we have a space of 20 pixels from the top so let's give it to this row so let's say 20 pixel beta now with this image let's click on it click to export click to preview and that's it so we can export it and uh, we can go ahead and click here well this image will come from database but we can go ahead and just add everything up I'm gonna click here to upload the image from the system go to my downloads uh, folder and then I'll find the image. This is the image, and I bring it in into my circle image. Okay, so now it is, we have it. Perfect. Now what we're going to do next is uh, this part. So uh, this is just going to be the text. It said Mahmoud Said. Um, this is 400 by 24. So let's click on the, the column. Click on add a chart to the column, and the chart is going to be a row. We're going to add a text and we're going to paste what we had copied 400 by 24 there you go and click on here and center align it perfect now we're going to go ahead and then click to add an image in that row the image is going to be this guy which is 25 by 25 so we're going to say 25 by 25 remove the border radius come here and say assets we already have some sort of design like that so let's just click here to look for something like i think this is it and that's it we have this and it's seven pixels on the left just for a little spacing seven and that's it that's it there 
So here can just be six pixels from the top. So we say six here, add it to the row itself. Perfect. Now the next thing I'm going to quickly do is I have my mood here. And um, what I will do is I'll click on this and say Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I will copy this. It's 400 by 14. I will click here, delete this one first. Okay. And then click on this and paste what I have. Okay, it's the same thing. Okay, no, it's a Gmail, 400 by 14. And I think this is going to be this, uh, this secondary text. Okay, so we have that. Now we are done with that. The next thing we need to do quickly is, um, well, I see something here. I think maybe towards the end we can do that. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. But I see something here, right? So there's a container here, although it's not really obvious. Let's go ahead and just uh, do it this way. So there's a settings, account settings here. Then we have all of this. So if we just create one, we can just duplicate. Then we can copy and paste this and duplicate, duplicate. And that's it, we're done. So let's go ahead and just uh, copy this text. All right, so it says the account settings is 400 by 10. Okay, and um, it's more like uh, 38 from the top. So let's come here and say, let's add a, a row. Let's add, a, I would prefer we add a column. Okay, in case we want to wrap it in a row later, in a container later. So we add this, we add a row. Inside the row, we're going to add a text. And the text is gonna be what I had copied. So it's 14 by 10, okay? And then it has a, a gray color. So uh, let's click here and give it a secondary text. And uh, we need to give it some padding, 25 pixels. So let's give it to the column that all of this is inside. So 25 pixels, so 25, right? Great. So then from the top, we need uh, some spacing here. It says uh, 38. So let's give it still to the column, 38, uh, 38. All right, then inside the column, let's click on this first. And just, let's just, uh, okay, let's duplicate this. All right, so we duplicate this row and the text as well. Let's copy this. This is going to be uh, 400 by 14. Okay, account security, account security, 400 by 14. All right, and then this is gonna be black. So we click there to make change it to black. And uh, we're going to put an icon here, an icon, search for an icon, and we have an icon, click on here and say, right. So with that, I should find something that will be that way. So I think this is it. Okay. So, oh, it's not that one. It's not that one. Uh, there's another one. It should be like, right. It's like a cycle with a triangle, a right angle inside it. So uh, we don't have it. We don't have that specific one. So, uh, well, I don't want to go and download the image and put it, so I'll just use it like that. So it's still okay, actually. Okay, so we will use, we will use what we have here. So I'll click on this and give it this particular kind of padding, like uh, the alignment. All right, then I need to go ahead and give some spacing here. This is 23 from the edge. So I need to give it to the column. Yes, so here I say, actually, I want to give it 25 just to make it the same. So click on the row and I have to give it some padding. This is 15 pixels from the top. So I click here and give 15. And then now I need to do the same thing to all of them. Let's look at this. Um, Okay, so let's say this is 19. Okay, no. Well, I think I, can, I just have to keep using this one. So 26. It to be so far apart. Let's use this one. So 12. Okay, so here, I'll just say Control D. Click Control D. And this is a 15. I'll just say 12. All right, then here I have email notifications. So I copy it and I click on this and I paste it. Okay, click on this, Control D. And then here is reminders. 
copy it come over here click on this and paste it ctrl v click on this ctrl d no what we need to copy now is this one ctrl c and uh, click on the column ctrl v and uh, this is going to be support it's uh, 33 no 26 so uh 26 from the top 26 like this then click on this ctrl c and click on the column and ctrl v all right then we have to change this one this is going to be about c9 all right so we will change this here ctrl v click on this ctrl c and then click on this as well let me just copy this aha uh -huh. okay great ctrl v then click on this and say ctrl d again to duplicate and then this is where we almost almost done so we'll click on this as well and click here and paste it so now we have this arrangement so this was uh, uh we need to change this one to support so let's come back here click on this and change it to support okay so we have this arrangement and it looks good now uh, we need to go ahead and just add this other part so this is a profile icon um well we can just find another one anyways let's just try to make it the same thing so click on this and preview and export it's coming in a, s a zip file very annoying and then this one let's go ahead and just export it click on this and export it that's another zip file right okay so let's see how we can get this thing working let's go ahead and come to dashboard uh this is where we had the uh the nav vacation here so i'll just copy it ctrl c go to my uh no not that uh user profile click on the main column close it by tapping it again and wrap it with a stack widget okay remember that's how we did it and then now paste it now we paste it we have this navigation but what we need now is we need to be able to um let's say just copy this one let me open it the stack okay so we want to copy the column here all right ctrl c and click on the row itself and space it ctrl v perfect and uh forgotten the spacing in between so 57.5 so let's say here 57.5 okay so here is going to be um account okay so i'm going to change this to account all right then here is going to be different image let's go get the image so click on here and go to downloads change all of this all of these all files and then now we're going to have uh these files i'm going to cut this out and online learning ctrl v replace okay this is 926 right aha uh -huh. okay so right click on this and say uh extract all and let's go okay now the thing is i do not know where it has gone to but let's try here uh, don't forget we have to go ahead and look for it first so this is it actually no this is not it this is a simple house we will need this we need to remember this okay and cad no like now let's go find it search no we need a profile like something that looks like a human being base play cycle let's preview this okay it's not then let's try this it might be here user okay this looks like it uh no this is not it okay so which is it then uh cad 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 
Okay, so we can't find it. Base, ah, it's gonna be in here. User, yes. Okay, so we have that there. Try not to get lost like I just did. Try to see how you can maybe open your real system and export and search properly. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, uh, row. No, let me just go ahead and delete the whole of this column. Delete this, delete the entire column, so we have this. Okay, so um, this is an image, let's see. We don't need it to have these, um, this space here. We don't need to have padding, so I just remove it. And then I'll click here to bring in the home icon. So let's come over to downloads. And I'll go ahead and then bring up this. And I think it's in this last part, the base. And this is it. Okay. So with these, we have successfully finished. Uh, okay, no, this is, we need to remove this home. Okay, so this is it. Like, this is perfect. We have something really tangible. Oh, hold on. This is not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be grayish. Okay, we didn't get it right. So we need to come over here and go get the real thing. So let's go. Yes, yes, this wasn't it. This wasn't it at all. Let's uh, go back to downloads. And uh, here, just say all files. And this is it, Control X, open, Control V, replace. Click on this, right click, and extract all. Extract. Then I think I would just click on this to open and see if I can find what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, that's not it. Mm -hmm. That's not it either. So it's not here. Could it be here? This is not it either. Okay, so let's go over to another folder. So I'm basically just trying to look for the icon. All right. So this is my icon. And that's okay okay so now I have the icon and everything looks perfect and uh, I think there might be just one more thing I need to do so like this it has some padding here 16 yes so I need to click on the roll and give it a padding of 16 like this just to push it down a little bit from the the upper part just just align it a bit like that so I think we're good now yeah it's almost the same width as this so this is perfect Perfect. Okay, so we have been able to finish creating the profile uh, section of uh, profile screen for our online learning uh, mobile application. We're going to continue with the rest of the other parts in the next uh, tutorial. See you soon.